Welcome in my beautiful Capricorns, uh, Carolina Moonbeam here. This is Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, your weekly reading, love and relationship for the week of September 17th through the 24th. And you can find your readings here every week at on Thursdays, okay? Um, so I wanna say, hey, you know, thanks for the likes and subscribes. Don't forget to hit the like. Uh, and shares and all that good stuff for me. It just helps support my channel and helps me uh, grow. All right, my love. So I will be doing an extended read with this and you can find that link in the description box below. It'll be up at the top. And down in there, there's some other services that I'm offering, so check them out. All right, my love, so let's get to it. So I wanna pull a card from the Angel Ancestor deck because uh, sweet Josephine is back with this deck. Josephine, uh, for those of you that don't know, is a guide. Uh, she's my guide. Uh, I am a psychic medium, so she brings me all the messages and helps me navigate up all this stuff. So she wants me to pull a card for you from this deck, so let's get into it. See her. See beyond the current situation. Wow. So you could be focusing on something, um, feeling that you're focusing on something that you need to let go of. Kind of goes with some of these uh, the psych psychic messages that I got. Uh, you're, you're causing your own block, blocks in your life. I'm seeing that. But we're going to go ahead and read this here, okay? Um, Seer. Okay. That's oh, taking me a minute. Okay, here we go. See beyond the current situ situation. Look beyond your current situation. Raise your vibration and focus on love. Focus on love, my darling. Raise that vibration. Change your perspective. Okay. Um, clairvoyance isn't just about predicting the future. It's about being able to see clearly enough, create your best future. They, they missed a word. How funny. Probably to create your best future. You are being encouraged by your ancestral guides and angels to see beyond what you think is happening right now. Don't allow your ego or doubts to play games with you. Instead of seeing yourself as stuck or lost, know you are in an energetic holding space. That's beautiful, right? Um, while the universe recollaborates a path that is more favorable for you. Angels of light are upgrading your energy so your experiences can be more enjoyable. You are moving towards something extremely uplifting and enlightening. So stay calm and keep your eyes on the prize. Keep your eyes on the prize. Oh my gosh, I have to write that down. Keep your eyes on the prize. <laughs> wow. Okay, my darlings, wow. Okay, so that's beautiful. So let's take another peek at the card in case there's any messages in here that I have missed. Ooh, wow. There's a heart in there. If you look inside, can you see it? The crystal ball. There is a heart with a little light uh, right above it. The heart is made of light and the little dot is right above it. It's like emphasizing that heart. Hmm, you don't want to miss out on uh, a beautiful heart because you're focused on something negative because, you know, just period. Okay, so let's get to these. So you're going to understand I get the psychic messages here. I got moving on up. I heard that old song from that show, moving on up to the east side, right? And I was like, okay, um, rocky ground, moving to solid ground, okay? Um, it says, move, make the move. Okay, so Spirit wants you to make the, the move to solid ground. Get out of the rocky. Get out of the rocks because the rocks will make you fall. Okay. Um, make the move, uh, Spirit is saying. Mourn your losses and put them to rest. You see? Because if you're focusing, you, you need to, to feel sad for those losses. Mourn them 
and put them to rest, okay? So that you don't get tripped up because you're going to miss out on a beautiful heart. Oh my goodness. Keep your eye on the prize. That's, that's what I'm going to name this video. Keep your eye on the prize, which is a heart. Wow. All right, let's get into the tarot. We're going to do the uh, wisdom of the oracle. Okay, we're ready now. Co-create, because you have to do your part. You know what I'm saying? Spirit can only do too much. Otherwise, if if if, <laughs> if you don't end up doing your part, the Spirit's going to come in and bring that icky tower card. You're going to burn down the house, right? So it's time for you to be involved in the co-creating of your life, my darling. Rise above the situation, okay? Rise above it. The line there is actually really thin. Very, very thin. Okay, co-creating. Chop wood. This came out reverse, so this is really, you know, emphasizing that, you know, get the work done. Chop wood. Do what you need to do. Take, take control of your life. Do your part. Move into solid ground. Get out of your head. You know, super moon today, darling. Super moon in Virgo. Uh, this is uh, really going to help, okay? Not for you is upside down also, which is emphasizing there is somebody around that is not for you, and they're probably getting you off of your path. Aha. <sighs> kind of feeling that. So let's see if it is the thing when we get into the reading. I'm going to pull one more from the bottom. Wow, I got milk and honey. Beautiful. Going for your milk and honey, the things that nurture you, the things that that feed you, you know, the food, the home, the happiness, the the richness in life. Okay, this is the part of what you're co-creating. And spirit wants to give it to you, but you got that little heart that's just kind of trapped in this little, you know, little crystal ball. And you don't want to miss that opportunity. There's something beautiful waiting for you. And it feels like there's somebody in your life that's got that's getting you tripped up. It's making you, um, putting you in your head, too much in your head, and, and you're losing focus, okay? You're losing your way. So let's get back on track, all right? Let's check and see what the cards have to say. Wow. Okay, so it won't be... One will be shuffling months. Yeah. All righty. All right, sweet Josephine. They're ready. Don't want me to touch them. Here we go. Eight of Cups. Oh, Ten of Swords. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Strength. Five of Wands. Ten of Cups. Okay, yeah. There's most definitely a, a possible miss opportunity here. There's a lot of being up in your head about something. Um, we've got the Eight of Cups. Ten of Swords, something is dying, we're walking away. We could be walking away from Leo. We could be finding our courage to walk away. Having the willpower, the strength, okay? Not only to walk away, but to tame the, that stuff that's all up in our head, right? That's got us up in our head. Wow, so this is where you're at right now. You could be dealing with the Leo. This other person is uh, feels like they're picking a fight. Um, they could be actually, wow. I mean, look at that energy. Look at that energy. You know, this, the five of swords speaks about chaos and, and, you know, confrontations and things, but this beautiful energy feels like it's tamed it. There's something there. Um, so we've got a berry. This other person is competing. They really want a happy family. They want the milk and honey. They really want the milk and honey. But there's an opportunity that's being missed here. There's an opportunity. They could be focused on a, on a, you know, kind of a fantasy land situation up in their head, castles in the sky, illusions. And then we've got the Eight of Pentacles reverse, which is talking about not working on it. All right. 
the Knight of Wands, real go-getter. And then look at this energy. Oh my gosh. Look at that. I mean, you know, not working on, on the thing that you want. You're not going after it. That's why Spirit's saying, put a, get a move on it. Move. Mourn your losses and move on. We'll put them to rest. You know, uh, make the move. Get off of the rocks because they're going to make you trip. Wow. Okay, so, and, and you're like, okay, get it. So Spirit's saying, get going, get going, because this is, this is a nightmare. You're in a nightmare right now. You are putting yourself in a freaking nightmare, and you're not able to sleep. Her head's not on that pillow. Her head's in her hands, and she's not laying down. Just missing out on sleep. Bunch of sleepless nights. Wow. Hmm. Curious if the wondering why that I got pick a fight came out. So you're gonna know why that came out. What you know the pos the person could be picking a fight about how the family's going. There definitely is this missed opportunity here. Um, we don't want to miss any opportunities that the spirit is giving us, do we? Right. So heads up to that. Okay. I'm gonna check the bottom of the deck here. We got, oh yeah, Justice is here, Hierophant, Justice and Hierophant. So Libra and Taurus energies, oh my gosh, they do not want you to miss any opportunities here. Look at this. They don't want you to miss any opportunities. Justice, Hierophant, Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles is all about opportunities, opportunities in love, opportunities in life, opportunities in money. Okay, and so they are coming in to try to teach you this lesson here. Okay, there is a, a you know, uh, wow, I feel like somebody might get married here. Somebody might get married. There's a karmic balance happening. So when you do your part, spirit comes in and does their part. Okay. So that's the part of that co-creating that you need to do. And there's somebody here that you're, that you're involved with or something that is not for you. Okay, because there's this other heart, this other precious heart that wants to come in. So there you go. There's what, you know, you got to take it for what it is right there. Okay, so um, judgment. Somebody from the past. Somebody that you share a lot of passion with. They might be a player though. Okay. They might be, yeah, we got, we got the four of wands reverse, which is, you know, hey, you know, non-committal. Unable to commit because of that player energy. Got us all in our head. We're all like, there's a fight that broke out, some kind of thing. Somebody picked a fight. I really feel it. Uh, they represented themselves as somebody that they are not and got us confused, you know, in our head something a, a fight broke out you know and then we got the queen of pentacles which is uh, speaking about the the home maybe they don't want to set up home with us you know um and then we've got the moon moon card so there's secrets there okay there's secrets there you know, you might have wanted to like go for it all the way, set up home with this person, be with this person, and then you know you figured out this is a player. They're non-committal. Um, you know, uh, it's just it's killing you. You're like, what's going on? You might be figuring this out as we speak. You know, or this is the energy that's coming to you and towards you, and you will figure this out because the secret is hidden right now. But we have the super moon in Virgo today. The secrets are going to come forward. We have this eclipse around the 21st. This reading goes to the 24th. That eclipse is about bringing those secrets up. I mean, that's part of that eclipse. Okay. And then we have uh, the Empress and the Seven of Pentacles. Taking that pause to, you know, we're not, we're not going to... Um, fall into this stuff we're, we're doing other work here we're co-creating we're figuring out what it is that we want we've got the world card okay trapped you know there's just there's the love is not there 
Love is not there with that two of cups reversed. The person is not expressing that love and it really makes us upset inside, you know. Um, not good energy, you know. The need to go into a new cycle. The universe is calling for you to go into a new cycle here. You know, move past this other person. I know that you, you know who this person is. Let me see if I can't find out real quick. I'll go ahead and pull a card. Who is this person that we need to move away? So it's somebody that you have a lot of passion for. Okay, you guys are very passionate. Uh, you know, there's passion between you. Okay, so this is that person. They could be Aries, Leo, Sag. This is a wand. Okay, this might just be an idea and then you figure out that, you know, they're like this and it's just like, gosh, right, a disappointment. Feeling a disappointment here, you're feeling very disappointed over this situation. But I want to encourage you because this milk and honey is here, right, this co-creating, this heart that lies within this right here is waiting for you. You know, this is the energy that is there for you. That seer is looking in to that crystal ball and seeing that heart that is there just for you. So it's get through this, okay? Mourn your losses and put them to rest. All right, my darling, we're gonna go over to the extended and see what other information we can get. Um, don't forget to hit like for me. I hope this helped you. The link is right below. I will see you over there. Thank you. Mwah. Take care. Bye-bye.